everybody and thank you for joining ASFN again. Thank you for everybody that subscribed. Remember if you push that little bell button, it will actually notify you every time we put a new video. And uh, thanks for everybody's feedback. That makes it worth it. Um, that's using some of the stuff we show on here and getting great results. Remember you can send your catches to grindelite at asfn.co.za. So I'm covering one of the requests we had today and that's tying a leader knot using a bimini twist onto your leader. All right, so your main line would be the white today. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tie it with rope, which should show the, the, the concept better, and then I'll do it with actual monofilament and the leader material. So our yellow will be the leader in this case, and then we're gonna use the white to tie a bimini twist. Now obviously this is a rope that doesn't stretch, so we might not get the whole effect of a proper bimini twist, but we'll give it a go. And what you do is you're gonna grab your line, this will be your monofilament, your main line. And you'll grab it like this and leave a long enough tag so it's the same length. Especially when you're fishing the heavy, heavy stuff, but even the light line as well. That makes a very nice knot if you use the improved Albright to do the knot afterwards to your leader. Then you can use all three tags like that. All right, so I'm first doing the bimini. So you'll twirl it 22 times. In this case, I'm going to do 10, okay, because the rope's very thick. In fact, let's just do it on six because it's it's not monofilament. So you'll do that 22 times and you'll hook it. I hook it around my knee and uh, you'll pretty much then have your tag end in, in this hand and you take this hand, put the end of that twist by your thumb and then you'll have to get that finger in there to, to draw this up. Okay, which makes it very difficult with a rope. We're gonna try it. Okay, see now you spring it up. So by putting it further, this will wind up there. All right, and that will end up in a bimini twist, which you'll see exactly when I do it with a monofilament, and you'll lock it with a granny knot. And then what I do is I'll do maybe three granny knots there. All right, and then just with a uni knot three times and pull it tight and that locks it now this is forming your third tag end guys I did that very quickly with a rope it's as you can see it's not neat at all but that will give you three tag ends what I'll do then is I'll clip this loop I'll clip this so the exact same length and I'll use all three strands here to do my leader knot all right so in other words you'll take your leader for an Albright and you'll do the Albright with all three like that and the improved Albright would be three times up, three times down, out the exact same way. And the secret of an Albright is you never touch the tag inch. You pull the two long ends to pull it tight, which I'll show you now with a monofilament and leader. So let's switch over to that. This is your main line. And I want my tag end to be long enough. Measure it like that. And then 22 times. Okay, I'm going to try and do it over this so you guys can see better. Alright. So, you wrap your main line around your hand so you've got it. You can get your finger in there. And then... That's a bit far for me. Then you wind it up either very neat or a bit looser. Depends how you want it. Okay. Then, like I said, you lock it this side. Always wet this, even as you twirl it up, as I did just now, you'll wet it first. Okay. Then you lock the second one. Then I'll do two of them over both tags, which is going to end up being tags. And then make this tag a bit more workable it's just too long and then just three times back on its cell wet that and pull it nice and tight now what I've got I've got three tag ends let it untwist nicely 
Okay. And three tag ends, which will make the same length. And then I like plaiting this before I make my knot. So you'll take all three, you'll put your fingers just like that in between them. And you'll use your left hand to turn it and plait it. As you can see there. Alright, now what this does, this knot actually spring loads. So it gives a lot of, bit of stretch and spring onto your knot. Which just makes it much stronger. Alright, now this is what I'll use to tie the knot. Before I do that, I'm going to show you guys, because you don't have something like that to hook it on on the beach. I do it over my knee. So I'm going to do that quickly. It gives me a longer tag end at the end of the day to use as well. So I'll just turn my chair a bit, so you can see. One, two. 22 times. I was wrapping around my leg, my knee like that. There around the thumb, so you've got the line nice and firm. But you can hook it now. This is what I meant with wetting the whole spiral before you start spiraling it. Because that can damage the whole knot. And then you just use this index finger to pull all of it up roll it nicely up onto it lock it and before you pull that tight make sure you wet it again so you lock it that side then we lock it this side Two grannies there to lock it. That's very long, rather too long. Three. You can do that five times if you want but three I find is more than enough you pull it onto itself and the same as what a FG knot would do it pulls from this side and your knot now pulls from that side makes it nice and secure just make sure my length the same on both and then I plait it so you can just get those there's a bit of wrinkle always on the one where it, where it spiraled up it will wrinkle a little bit and then you just twist it all the way it's plaited and then what I do is I'll just make a little granny knot here to keep it okay all right now to tie this to your leader material So you're going to fold a little loop like that and I'm going to do improved all bright so I'm putting it through and it goes one two three one two and three back then you take it out the same way it came in that's why they call it improved all bright Previously a normal old bright will come in in the opposite direction, but it's not nearly as strong. It turned out not a not a great knot. Um, then all your only your long ends. Don't touch your tag ends. Wet it and slowly work it so it bunches up all the way to the end of that loop. Alright. Pull it nice and tight. And then your tag end of your main line of the three now that is still one of the smallest knots you can use it bundled up here one of the smallest knots remember this is 0.55 main line onto a one mil leader line and for that to go through your eyes on your rod with a multiplier it's the smallest possible knot you can use. Guys prefer, or a lot of guys prefer the, the figure of eights, both sides, and you pull them onto each other. I still prefer the Albright knot, which is one of the smaller knots you can use. Size does count when you cost. 
here we go guys and that is tying a bimini twist with improved all right onto your leader knot and you can also use the figure of eight or double figure of eight which means i'll take the yellow i'll do a figure of eight onto my leader and i'll take the leader do a figure of eight onto this and you pull them close and then slide them onto each other a lot of guys prefer that this i think it's 20 years now i've fished this knot and uh, making an albright or improved albright just takes time getting used to just pulling your tag in slowly until it pulls tight the, the most crucial about this is make sure it's very tight before you pull the tag end. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to comment and let us know when there's something you would like us to do. Um, we do read all of them. We don't always have time to reply on all of them because a lot of mails, messages, comments, all of that comes through on a daily basis. But we do read all of them and we do take some of your questions or suggestions in mind when we plan our shoots going forward all right so remember to subscribe to the channel remember the little bell button that will notify you each time we upload a new video and remember to send your catches to grind elite at asfn.co.za make sure to take some time with those photos but plan them beforehand because that's pretty much the only physical thing you keep from a great catch make sure you <laughs> also also guys let us know about any of the let us know if any of our demos or suggestions has worked for you and what you've caught on it it's always great to receive those emails